Hi friends, welcome to our meditation garden. Uh, we are back with more mangoes to taste. Today we chose colorful mangoes. I know that not the same profile group or same uh, group of mangoes uh, genetically, but they look very colorful. Look, this mango, it's called Phoenix mango. And it has a beautiful color when it gets ripe. Very beautiful color. And we have a O15 mango. It's still named after the planting row where it was planted at Chill High Performance Plant Nursery. And it hasn't been named yet, but it also get a very beautiful color. These two mangoes are from the same parent, Jakarta. These are seedlings from Jakarta mango. And talking of colors, we have a Mahasanuk mango from Thailand. Well, didn't come from Thailand. This is a mango variety from Thailand, but uh, we got it from a friend, his name is Frank, he is known as FL native in uh, Tropical Fruit Forum. So we visited his beautiful garden and uh, he was kind enough to give us a fruit, Mahasanuk. We were going around his garden and I asked him if uh, I can have a Mahasanuk fruit. He just put, put his hand there to pick and just a small finger and then the fruit dropped in his hand so um, probably it was um, ready to get picked these two uh, phoenix and um, 015 we got from zil high performance plant nursery so we'll we will sample these three fruits today i also have a pineapple pleasure the pineapple pleasure mango that that we got before was a little pale green um, but this one seems to have some orange coloration and i want to taste it when it is a bit in a riper stage and see how it is another one uh, we talked about sunrise mango yesterday that was grown uh, in land in coral spring so it developed a lot of skin blemishes this was grown closer to the coast we can see how the color difference is this one really looks like a sunrise color it doesn't have any skin so this is how um, a ripened sunrise looks like on a, uh, when it is doesn't get uh, uh, skin fungal blemishes so let's start we can start with any of these mangoes i'm very excited to try all of them actually We'll start with the Mahasanuk mango. So it can get really long and big as well. So this is a ideal size. It has nice floral smell to it. Some skin blemishes, but I think they are just superficial. start to go in and try from the other side as well. Some of the Thai mangoes they do have certain bitterness by the skin so I want to try it without the skin first. Mm. It has sweetness with tropical fruit flavor. It's, it's it's certainly different from any other mangoes I have tried. There's a sweetness combined with um, maybe a very I don't I don't taste any sub acid flavor, but I do taste a, a, this tropical flavor almost to the feeling of like that gives you happiness together with sweetness it also does not have that glassy slimy texture like namdak mai has so it's different than namdak mai I, I actually i have tried both and i now i prefer it to namdak mai but i still have uh, one namdak mai ripening so we will see how it tastes like Many people told us that Mahasanuk is hyped up um, and it's not really as tasty as it is hyped as. But this one really um, excites us. It has not just sweetness like most of the Thai, thai mangoes. It has some complexity to its taste plus very nice floral 
aroma to it so I think I really like this mango next let's try the Phoenix mango the color looks perfect and I hope this is the the stays uh, perfectly ripe stays it's still hard though it I don't a little bit keeps in but not as much as the color the development of color seems like it's ripe but let's see we have other phoenixes as well so if it is not the perfect ripeness we will try it again just the ripe mango smell see that there is certain uh, thing going on closer to the to the top here This one tastes sour and very sewery. I had Phoenix last year and that's why I got Phoenix this year as well. The last year's Phoenix was uh, something to die for. It had this uh, classic flavor with, with some sub-acid component with perfect level of sweetness. Um, I, I like a couple of more Phoenixes I tried. I liked it so much. We have a tree now because of that uh, perfect taste um, it, it, the taste I couldn't find it in other mangoes that year so I think we will try another Phoenix that's ripening right now it's kind of deceiving if you see that outside was a perfectly tasting uh, perfectly looking mango and inside it's uh, rather disappointing I want to give it a more a bit more try closer to the seed to see if anything changes there it has a bit of more sweetness but I don't think it has that peak, peak flavor of Phoenix I would consider this not an ideal um, Phoenix to taste we will have more Phoenix to taste in coming weeks last is 015 again looks very beautiful outside this one is more giving so i hope this is uh, this has been picked at a perfect time and ripened well again just i don't smell any distinct smell to it This mango is sweet and has a an spicy undertone, almost similar to um, the Indian man Indian variety mangoes that we tried yesterday. Yeah, closer to the skin. Believe it or not, this actually is reminding more of the Suburna Rekha or Sundari mango that we had yesterday. It has that peppercorn-like spiciness combined with sweetness. it's similar in taste to that mango but really a good good distinct flavor profile that we didn't have it in other mangoes so far that I really like that spicy intense spicy flavor combined with the sweetness if you are not into spicy flavors more into sub acid or citrus or lemon flavor with mango uh, this is not the mango for you but I would still say go try O15 and see for yourself how you like it so today we tasted O15, um, the Phoenix Mango and Mahasan Oak. Uh, we were really surprised by the taste of Mahasan Oak. I think uh, it's, if you like Thai mangoes, uh, go for it. It, it has this uh, floral smell to it, which is unique, different than other any other mangoes. And I really like O15 with its spiciness combined with sweetness. We will try Phoenix mango again when it is uh, in a different stage. But all three mangoes, one thing is for sure, they look exquisite. The colors of the mangoes from outside are really beautiful. Stay tuned, we have many other mangoes that we will be uh, tasting in coming days. Including our home globe grown Julie mango. <laughs> this is very small, I know Julie grows very slow. but. Uh, we were fortunate that one of the fruits hung uh, 
onto it this year it didn't drop so hopefully we will get to um, eat and, and try julie from our own garden this year thank you very much